In a quest to find her life's purpose, Constance So believed she had no special gift or talent. However, she later discovered her true calling when she found a passion for assisting and caring for people. This journey led her to explore the Amazon rainforest on a speedboat, transforming lives along the way. My name is Conceição, and I'm a doctor from Belém in the state of Pará in Brazil. I work for the public health care system and for a private clinic. I've never intended to study medicine, to make money, to live a fancy life or to live in a prettier world. Ever since I was a child, I dream of studying medicine to treat lives, to take care of people. I was always wondering about my gift, saying, Lord, what gift do I have? I don't know how to preach. I don't know how to do anything of the sort. So really, I must have no gifts. But when I stepped into the Luzero mission boat, I understood what my gift was and the purpose I sought my whole life. Dr. Conceição was the first volunteer doctor to join the 29th Luzero boat. By accepting this volunteer opportunity, she found the purpose she had been looking for. They gathered donations during Christmas to be delivered by the mission boat. They brought food and clothes. And when we docked the boat, I was impressed by the number of people who were there waiting for us. That was my first experience with Luzero and Adra. I was amazed when I left. I felt like I had been charged with good energy. You know, I felt fulfilled. Since then, Dr. Concesau boards the 29th Luzero boat to relieve the pain and illness that affect villagers along the river. All of them were suffering from, mainly from parasitosis, as well as other diseases they couldn't get treatment for because there wasn't a place for them to go for that. We've also found people who suffer from psychological illnesses, people who are depressed, people who do not live well people who are always anxious and need a more welcoming approach. Today, Manuel had a quick health checkup and the arrival of the Luzero boat has benefited him on several occasions. This has been very good. I just learned that my blood pressure is steady, and the doctor just checked in on me to see how I was doing. And the best part is that it's all for free, you know? Thankfully, my health is doing great. It is good to know that I'm okay. We feel that they are putting their heart into their work. We feel their soul in their work. They do an amazing job. Caring for people allows doctors and missionaries such as Kon Sisao to talk to people on a deep level. It's very hard to reach a patient in pain that hasn't received any medication. I've encountered patients who would say, how can God exist if I'm suffering this much? But when you go there and minister to the sick, treating their illnesses, then you can talk about God's love and they understand that very well. For Concesau, it's not easy to be here. She struggles to get across the ramp or down the stairs, and all too often, her workload is heavy. I have a hip-to-knee prosthetic implant, which makes many things impossible for me, you know? It limits me. I never thought I would be able to go from the dock to the boat. Sometimes it's very hard. But being here, it's worth it. 
Here's a fun fact about the doctor. Every day I ask her, doctor, how many appointments this morning? She'll reply, Eduardo, you can schedule 24 to 25 appointments. Then I go and schedule the appointments as people arrive. At night, she'll ask me how many she covered. And I respond, doctor, you actually covered over 42 appointments. Her mobility doesn't prevent her from doing good to anyone. And besides serving people, she always donates the free samples of medicine she receives from the labs. She is an incredibly warm person, always helping us, no matter the circumstances. Sometimes people say to me, I like you so much, you are already older, but you managed to come here. Then they say the most beautiful thing, I'm going to pray for you. Consasau fulfilled her dream of being a doctor and finding her gift. For her, the Luzero Project represents God's plan for her. Adra is part of my life. Whenever I come to Luzero, whenever I'm able to assist lots of people, I leave this boat renewed. I never think that I am doing much for these people. But I feel God has blessed me very much through them as I can put in practice all I have in my heart.